go. Okay, uh, hello everyone. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, uh, wherever you are. And uh, today we have a hands-on session run by Yasuki. First part of it is JET, second part is Hydro. And we'll try to take a little break in between. So as usual, uh, post your questions to the Slack. And uh, Yasuki, please go ahead. So hello, uh, can you see my screen now? Uh, the slide, you, can you see? Yep, you can see it clearly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great, okay, so uh, let me start today's session. Uh, okay, so last uh, uh, last time, uh, actually we have already prepared uh, some data generation for, uh, from Jetscape uh, with which we will uh, do analysis and we will see some uh, jet modification in jet substructure observable. Okay, so uh, so let me uh, briefly review what uh, what we are going to do in this uh, hands-on session. So uh, the goals for this session is so first uh, we run uh, Jetscape and simulate hard scattering events, and actually we have already done so. Uh, we generated hard pattern shower in P both in PP and Lele collision. And in the PP case, uh, we had uh, evolution of jet shower result in reaction with the medium. And in little case, so it was for homework. So in little case, uh, we had a jet shower evolution with interaction with the medium. And uh, today, uh, what we're gonna do is analysis uh, uh, with Jetscape data, and we will study medium effect on jet in particular, uh, we will calculate uh, some jet uh, substructure observable uh, by using generated data from Jetscape, and we will see medium effect on them. And uh, first, uh, today, uh, today we will do uh, recon jet reconstruction first with Python script uh, by using a fast jet package. And uh, here we're gonna use a code. Uh, actually, we I I, I, draw, I wrote a code, but um, I I. Uh, so mo uh, most part of the code is I found uh, that the James code is good to uh, do this reconstruction. So uh, I, uh, I, I wrote the code based on his code. And then with, with, uh, and also uh, at the same time as the jet reconstruction, we will, uh, we will find uh, charged particle which can be found inside the jet con and we will use those data uh, to calculate jet substructure observable later. And after uh, after uh, after the jet reconstruction, so we will use those data and we will calculate jet spectrum, jet spectrum and jet substructure observable and we will see the medium effect on them. Yeah, com by comparing between PP and LELID results. Uh, okay, then, uh, so uh, we've already done event generation on the first day. So uh, we generated uh, hard scattering at 5 TB by PT again in Jetscape. And uh, uh, the PT hat in those events are, are set to 100 to 160 GB. And we generate the same number of hard scattering for LED and PP. So uh, here you can see the XML file for uh, the, the, uh, the corresponding part of the, the XML file here. So you can see PT again, and you can see these two uh, parameter values and uh, 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 the, the energy, of cent uh, energy at center, center of the mass is set to uh, 5,020 uh, uh, 5, uh, uh, GeV. And then, so uh, actually we did two separated simulation ones for a uh, uh, PP case. So in PP case, uh, we assume that there's no medium it, uh, which can interact with the, the, the had, uh, had a pattern shower. And this simulation, uh, so the, the simulation of the jet shower evolution is taken care by uh, matter uh, module in Jetscape and in which we turn off uh, medium effect. Uh, you can find a uh, flag for in vacuum here and the in vacuum uh, flag is now on. You can find one here, one means on. So the simulation is done uh, for uh, done without any uh, medium interaction. So this 
uh, this percussion can be found in XML file, which, which we used for PP uh, simulation. And in, for the energy loss module in this set, in this uh, in, for PP, uh, we put only matter here. Okay, and then uh, the another so here uh, we can see that uh, it, the simulation is done for vacuum case, and another simulation we have done for leather case. So uh, the jet shower uh, evolution is taken care by matter for patterns uh, which uh, matter matter uh, for patterns whose virtuality is greater than 2 GB and once you find a pattern which has virtuality lower than 2 GB AVT takes care of it uh, their evolution so uh, here you I put an uh, example of XML5 for little case and in energy loss module so we set two Set, uh, two different modules, matter and LBT. So by putting these two different modules, so we can we can do simulation with this uh, multiple multi stage uh, jet shower evolution. It's it's the one of the biggest futures of Jetscape. And here, so uh, here you can find uh, Q0 is set to two G, uh, two GB. So it corresponds to this uh, this uh, this switching uh, virtuality parameter uh, between matter and LBT, and uh, also uh, we put uh, in this simulation we put uh, decoupling with medium alpha s is e equal to 0.25. So you can find them here and here both in matter and LBT. So if you want to have stronger uh, medium uh, effect, you can increase this value and then you will see a uh, stronger uh, medium effect in the in your simulation results. So if you are very interested in what happened if you increase this value, so you can you can play around with this parameter. Okay, and then here, uh, actually in in this school, for this school, I uh, provided a, a medium profile uh, for level collision it, which is calculated for 30 to 40 percent centrality, and actually not only the uh, medium profile, but actually at the same time, uh, I, 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 so we provided uh, initial geometrical uh, condition for hard scattering. It means uh, end call distribution. So actually, uh, uh, whenever we have uh, pre-generated uh, hydro profile. Uh, you need to have pre-generated initial uh, hard scattering distribution. So, and they actually, you don't need to worry about it before this time because I've already uh, uh, provided, and you can find uh, you, you can find it's it, it, it's it's also uh, it's indicated in XML file. So, please, if you are interested in uh, doing simulation uh, with JetScape by yourself, uh, please see uh, please see inside of the XML file. Okay. So uh, let me uh, briefly uh, uh, explain uh, what we're gonna do uh, for today's session. So uh, by using uh, generated just uh, generated data, uh, event data uh, for PP and Lillet, uh, we will do jet analysis. Uh, so first, uh, by using Python script, uh, we're going to cluster uh, by applying jet reconstruction alg algorithm. So uh, here, uh, so you can find uh, many particles in the final state, but you need to you need to you need to define jet with those particles. So for this uh, for today's uh, study, uh, we will use anti KT algorithm with the parameter jet con size is set to 0 0.4 uh, 0 0.4. And we will find jet with uh, transfer momentum greater than 100, 100 GB. So, it, so let's say uh, we have this kind of uh, final state uh, particle in the end. So, and by applying uh, anti KT algorithm, so we will re, re, we will cluster some particle and uh, and obtain a jet. So, for example, here, and for example, here. And then also the size. Uh, so uh, the size of the cone is set to uh, 0.4. It, it roughly corresponds to the size of the uh, radial size of the uh, jet in phase space uh, in eta 
uh, five plane. So if so if so if you set out equal point four, the the uh, the area of the jet in uh, delta phi and delta uh, delta uh, in jet, the area of jet uh, of of the the size of the jet is rough uh, in uh, eta phi uh, plane is roughly 0.4. And uh, once we find uh, those, uh, we, once we find jets in events, and then uh, we will use uh, those data and then uh, we will calculate uh, jet spectrum. And with jet spectrum, you can, uh, for both for lead lead and PP, uh, we can calculate jet alloy A. So we will uh, calculate jet alloy A in this session. And also uh, also by using the information of charged particle captured in jet cone, uh, we can calculate uh, jet fragmentation function, which is, uh, which is actually the momentum distribution of charged particle inside of jet. And also uh, we can study jet shape function so just shape function is uh, a radial profile of transverse momentum inside of the jet. So, and, and you can see that the angular, uh, so uh, you can see that angular structure of the jet in, uh, inside of the jet cone. Okay, so these are brief uh, explanation for, uh, for, for today's session. And uh, actually, so from now on, we will start actual, uh, uh, actual analysis. So any question uh, related to uh, what we have done uh, before this session. So I ask you to prepare uh, let, let uh, event generation. Uh, so anybody is, so is there anybody who had any trouble uh, before starting uh, today's analysis? If you have something, please, uh, please let us know by, uh, by having reaction on Zoom. I don't see any hands. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's start today's show. Hands on session. Okay. So so this is uh, oops. so this is terminal. So uh, actually, I think most people have already stopped uh, Docker container. So first, we need to do uh, we need to restart Docker. So uh, so for for uh, for the for the Docker container for this session is uh, the name was set to my JS JS session. Uh, so please start this Docker again. And then uh, please go to uh, the uh, folder for this session in summer school 2021. Yeah, please go to uh, July 23rd jet directory. And today, actually we need to do this command. We need to have this command to, uh, to load some module which will be used in the Python code. So uh, once you have done these three, uh, three steps, and uh, please uh, let me know once, uh, please let me know via the function. So please start Docker for this session and go to the directory for this session and execute the uh, script dot slash init dot sh.
So do you want people to give a check mark in the reactions when they're done? Uh, yes, I want to have check mark from people who have uh, completed those steps. So 10 people have finished these steps. So I think we can go next. Okay, thank you. So now you can, uh, uh, you maybe, can maybe we have maybe we have over 30 people on maybe wait for a few more. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, because uh, little, little, yeah, if we leave a lot of people behind, it gets a little mm -hmm. organized. And participants, don't forget to add a check in the, in the reactions box. We're waiting for you. We'll wait for the number to go up a bit. Yeah, last time last we eight people in in, in the last session uh, actually uh, last we eight people gave me the reaction so I think eleven is reasonable so can uh, what what do you think uh, Peter Okay yeah sure let's let's go on then mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. Okay so then uh, actually so uh, the now we have done the preparation and next we'd like to do uh, get reconstruction with Python script. So first, we would like to go to the directory where you can find uh, the Python script for jet reconstruction. So please go to analysis script. And then there you can find uh, this Python script, jet reconstruction.py. And with this script, you can do jet reconstruction. So Python uh, jet reconstruction. And also here this time, you need to uh, indicate, you need to specify uh, input uh, input file. So which uh, which is nothing but the uh, pre-generated uh, pre uh, Jetscape event file. So uh, for PP event, uh, if you did not change the name of the output file, which can be found with this name, test out PP final state hadron dot that, and which is stored inside of the beautiful folder of the Jetscape. So if you did, did not change the name of the final state part uh, data, please copy it. And also, uh, so, uh, but don't forget to put this uh, dash I uh, option and dash, so jet reconstruction pi dot pi space dash i space and uh, pass for the uh, final state have one file. And also you need to specify uh, the, uh, the pass for the uh, output of file from this jet reconstruction uh, script. So in this example, I will store uh, the, the, P, the, the jet information for PP collision in the data folder 
so you can find data directory uh, inside of this uh, the inside of the, the folder for this session. So I so uh, if you want to follow my uh, way, so you can just copy it. Or yeah, but you can you can you can change the name here too. So please. Uh, Please put this command and then uh, please do the uh, please run the this Python script with uh, uh, is uh, with uh, these options. So once you have done, please let me know. If you succeed, uh, you can find this message. So one hundred so one hundred percent here. Yeah. I think it can be finished uh, very, uh, very quickly. It does not take time. So oh, please go to analysis script folder and then you will find just reconstruction.py. So we need to run this code. Uh, so Python and the code name. And also first you need to uh, put option for the input file, which is the which is the result from Jetscape. So if you did not change the name, you can find it in build folder with this name. And that this is for PP case. And also you need to specify the path for the output file from this code. Once you have done, let me know. If anyone <clears throat> needs more time, can you put a red X in the reaction just so we know who we're waiting for? Yeah. 
Looks like we can go ahead, I think, Yusuke. <laughs> okay, so then uh, we need to do the same thing for the case. So please uh, run the Python code. Uh, oh, uh, I, on my case, uh, I need to uh, run the just, yeah, uh, I, so I fail, but uh, I, I think uh, if you have uh, had on uh, let, uh, had on uh, list file for little case, I think uh, you will not find any uh, error message like this. So you can, uh, so please uh, do the same thing for a little uh, list. Please run the pi the just for construction code also for uh, also for the test out the final state had on inside of the just get build folder and then please uh, and also please uh, don't forget to give uh, the output file name once you have done please let me know at the same time you need to have it Yeah, once you complete uh, the just, rec just reconstruction for Lillard with Python code, yeah, you will get almost the same uh, output from the code like this. So once you have done, please let me know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then the output file from this jet reconstruction code can be found uh, data folder inside of July twenty third jet. So you can you should be you should find uh, these two output file jet dot that and jet pp dot that. And the inside of the, for example, uh, leather case. So yeah, you can find this data. And I'd like to briefly explain the, uh, the information uh, stored in the in those file. So uh, here, uh, in, so uh, inside the file for each jet, uh, the information of charged hadrons detected inside of the jet con is also stored in CSV format. 
So if you draw a, a, a cone uh, according to uh, this region, so, and then, and if you find a charged particle inside the jet, actually those particles information are stored together with the jet. So, oops. This is an example of the uh, output. So uh, for a jet that, 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 so in the first line, you can find the information of the jet. So jet PT, jet eta, jet phi, and uh, these are dummy status and PID. And below jet, you can find particles uh, information. So they are charged headlines which can be uh, detected inside the jet con. So in jet, so jet one. So uh, you can find uh, 18 particles inside of the jet, uh, 18 charged hadrons inside of this jet one. And you can find jet two here because you can find it because uh, the ID here is zero. So it means you have a jet and below the, uh, so below jet, you can find also charged particle, which, which, is uh, which are caught inside the jet cone of jet two. So in this way, so in, this, in those files, uh, you, you have information of jet and also information of charged particle captured inside the jet cone. Any question here? Okay, so from now on, by using these uh, jet and uh, in-jet in, in particle information, uh, we will do analysis by using Jupyter notebook. So uh, please go to the directory of notebooks inside of uh, the folder for this session. So could you go to uh, could you go to summer school 2021, July 23rd, JET and notebooks. And then please try this command, Jupyter, Jupyter notebook, I, uh, dash dash IP, 0 .0 .0 and space dash dash no browser. So in the same way we've done for uh, hydro session. Then you can find uh, address uh, which can be found here. So starting with 127.0.0.18888. So please copy it and paste uh, it in your web browser. And then you will find uh, yeah, you will find this Jupyter notebook uh, page in your browser. So please, and also uh, you can find two Jupyter notebook and I'd like you to click the last one. So jet analysis dot I, pi, and B. So please click and please open it. So once you have done, please let me know. So please open Jupyter Notebook, which can be found inside of uh, Notebooks folder. And also, uh, in your if you if you cannot use uh, Jupyter notebook in your environment, I I also prepared Python code, which is essentially the same uh, script I put in the notebook. 
So yeah, uh, inside of the notebook folder, you can find uh, the folder Python code. And then there uh, you can find Python code, which has the same content I have in the uh, I have in the in the Jupyter notebook, so you don't need to worry about it. If even if you cannot open Jupyter notebook in your environment, you can run the code, and you can generate uh, plots. We are going to plot. Uh, we are going to get. iPhone and facing any question here. There's a question, go ahead. Yeah, thank you. Um I, I also asked this in the chat, but I figured since we're waiting, I can maybe ask it here. Uh you mentioned before that we have this data file which um which shows us all the charged particles in the jets. Uh -huh. Um and I was wondering uh, why there are no neutral particles here. Um, ah. Is this, I, I tried to look for a setting in the XML file, but I, I couldn't mm. find it. Maybe I missed it. Ah, okay. So uh, actually uh, for this jet reconstruction code, uh, almost everything is hard coded. So you cannot find any uh, file which set configuration, uh, but here, so what, we have done with this code is so we reconstructed jet uh, using both neutral particle and charged particles. However, uh, when we calculate jet substructure observable, actually, uh, so I so we follow uh, we follow the uh, way experimentists do. So uh, actually, we need to we only need to have. Uh, charged particle there, so uh, so that is why we have only charged particle in the output file. But the jet reconstruction is done together with neutral particle. So does it make sense? Yeah. Okay. But then, do we have? So we do have access to these uh, to these neutral particles, or just not using uh, yes, them in this in, case? In, in, in the yeah, in the Jetscape output file. I think you can find a uh, neutral particle. So, so the, yeah, but you didn't find? Yeah, actually we did not put any condition for that. So you, we should be able to find both charged particle and uh, neutral particle from Jetscape. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Okay, I think we can start uh, working on Jupyter Notebook. So, okay, so I think uh, you, uh, most of you have learned how to execute lines in on a uh, Jupyter Notebook. So shift plus and so shift plus enter and then uh, you can execute uh, this part, and also you can execute this part by doing shift plus enter. And here, uh, if you have changed the path of, uh, of, of, of the output file from uh, jetreconstruction.py, uh, please modify here. 
So if you did not change, I think the you don't need to change anything. And also uh, you need to do the same thing for leaded file. So if you have changed the file name, uh, change the file, file, change the name of the file storing jet and charged particle information, uh, please uh, modify here. And this, uh, in this example, uh, actually we set jet R equal 0.4, which will be also used in the latter part of this, uh, this analysis. So I put it here. So if you want to do the similar analysis with different jet con size, uh, you need to change here. And by default, actually I put uh, event number uh, 250 for this session. But if you have changed the number of hard scattering uh, in Jetscape by in the XML, please modify here. But, uh, but, by, uh, but by default, it should be 250 here and here. Please shift, hit, hit shift together with return. And these are, uh, so please continue it till you find here. Okay. So please follow this procedure and please go here, just spectrum. If you find any errors, uh, please let us know. There is a question on slide. Yeah, currently, so yeah, you can change the jet con size with option for this code. Uh, I will let you know, but uh, for now, uh, we are using the default value 0.4 and it's hard coded. So, but I will let you know how, uh, you, how you can change the jet con size with that. Uh, with that uh, Python code later, yeah. So please do, please hit shift plus enter and then please come here. Yeah, and then let me know. If you come, if you reach just just from here. I'd like to remind you that if you change the name of the uh, file for uh, file for the output from jet reconstruction, uh, you need to change it, change them in the first uh, box. Suki, okay. there's another question in the Slack from Yuki. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me find. Okay. Ah, okay. Uh, uh, no problem. So you don't need to worry about it. So uh, it's 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 used just for. Uh, it is really. Uh, 
Uh, I don't think it can be problem problematic for now. So please, uh, I will check it later. But uh, I, yeah, but uh, I think there is no problem with uh, running the code with the uh, default setting. So yeah. I think that is only used for the bar. So, hmm. Thank you for letting me, uh, thank you for pointing it out, but yeah. You don't, yeah, yeah. You don't need to worry about it. Oh, uh, at the same time, I'd like to let you know how you can run alternative uh, Python code if you cannot run uh, Jupyter Notebook. So, it can be found in, in the same folder. notebook and then you can find Python code folder. And here you can find full Python script and the and what we are going to do for now corresponds to this uh, this code. So if so if you want to do the same thing I'm doing I'm doing uh in the pipe on Jupyter Notebook for this spectrum. So you, you just, you need to do Python get analysis one just spectrum pi and hit enter. And then, yeah, you can find two PDF files, which we are going to generate uh, with Jupyter Notebook here. People are uh, people who are who are not who does not who do not have any trouble in Jupyter Notebook. Yeah, you don't need to use those uh, Python code. Just you can uh, use Jupyter Notebook. You need more time. Put a red X or this red circle with the white X. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's continue. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here, uh, what we are going to do is the calculation for jet spectrum, and we want to generate the plot. So here, jet spectrum uh, is defined as here. So uh, the number of the jet, the derivative of number of jet, uh, with respect to PT of jet, uh, normalized with the number of hard scattering event. So uh, here uh, we have a script to generate this uh, this value both for PP and Lillet. So here you can find uh, JetPT, uh, so uh, the array storing Jet uh, JetPT in PP and uh, JetPT for Lillet, and we give them uh, for we give them to the function which can generate histogram. Uh, so then uh, we can get obtain this, uh, uh, this quantity. So detail, you, you, detail can be uh, seen by following codes here. But anyway, so please shift and hit enter and then, set, then see whether you have, you can have plot something like this. So please, uh, uh, please execute this portion of the code and find the plot. 
for uh, jet spectrum. And uh, if you at the lead point, lead points are for lead lead and black points are for PP. So, we, so if you have energy loss in lead lead, so spectrum uh, of, uh, in lead lead is, uh, is less than PP case. And you can see the jet, uh, jet, the jet quenching. Once you find jet energy loss in your plot, please let me know. What's going on? Yeah, I think, yeah. Uh, I think nobody has problem. So yeah, once you get uh, just spectrum uh, separated uh, separately for PP and Lele, so let's take a uh, ratio between them and get jet LAA. So jet LAA, it corresponds to the uh, value uh, of the ratio between these two spectrum. So let that divided by PP. So in let case, so uh, the shape, uh, the, uh, the momentum of the jet is uh, broadened. So then uh, some portion of jet energy cannot be captured by jet con. So that is the origin of the jet energy loss. So in let case, so uh, some uh, so uh, some jet went to uh, jet PT. Uh, some jet went to uh, lower PT region. So that is why we can see suppression in the case. So let's see uh, this effect as a ratio uh, by taking ratio as and as and and see the jet LAA. So please hit uh, the enter in the next uh, box and then please get jet LAA. So please do it. Please hit this, po this portion, shift, enter. And I think you will find something similar to this. And hopefully uh, jet LAA, uh, jet, the points for jet LAA located below one. <laughs> it means uh, you have jet energy loss. But, but here you have a uh, very small statistics. So you may have a uh, lead point below one, but it's okay because uh, it's a small simulation. So it can happen. So once you have done, please let me know. So please, uh, so by the way here, uh, so we take ratio between these two spectrum here and did the calculation of the jet LIA and we are going to see a jet LAA.
if you cannot use Jupyter Notebook, yeah, you can do the same thing with Python code. I put in the uh, Python code folder. So command Python just analysis one jet spectrum dot pi, and then you can see the same plot we have here with the file name here and jet and jet dot pdf. This is jet spectrum and LAA dot pdf is jet LAA. I think we can continue. Mm -hmm. Okay, hopefully uh, people see their own jet LAA with their uh, uh, generated uh, Jetscape data. So next, let's see uh, intra uh, structure of jets. So first we would like to uh, calculate jet fragmentation function. So jet fragmentation function is uh, defined in this way. So uh, the number of charged part, the, the, the derivative of number of charged particle inside of the jet cone with respect to Z, and Z is actually uh, the fraction of charged particle PT and PT of jet, and divided by, and, and normalized with uh, the number of jet. So here I put I, I put uh, an example of a fragmentation function uh, from a realistic Jetscape uh, simulation. So uh, it so uh, the y-axis is log and also the uh, x-axis is uh, log. And then uh, yeah, the just fragmentation function should be uh, sh should have this kind of uh, shape. And if you take the ratio between PP and lead, lead yeah, you can find that uh, you have a low, low PT particle enhancement inside of the jet and a small uh, enhancement at uh, slight, um, slightly higher Z region. So you can see the, you can see the, uh, the modification of the uh, PT distribution inside of the jet. So the, this portion is the code uh, to uh, calculate, uh, uh, calculate a fragmentation function. So here you can find Z is calculated. So PT asso associated means, so PT of charged particle divided by PT of judged particle. And uh, this is uh, down for PP and this is down for Lele. And then again, by using them, uh, we, uh, generate histogram, and in the end, uh, we can get a fragmentation function. So please uh, hit shift plus enter for this box and find your own jet fragmentation function, both for PP and Lelet. So black dot uh, gives you uh, PP uh, jet fragmentation function, and red dots give you the Lelet uh, fragmentation function. And hopefully you will see uh, deviation between these two. So please uh, execute this portion and find your own uh, jet fragmentation function. And then please let me know.
decay. And then also for this observable, uh, let's take ratio between them. So let let divided by PP. So you can find that. Uh, so uh, here is the is the portion uh, you we going to take a ratio between these two. So please hit uh, shift plus enter for this box and find your uh, medium modification for jet fragmentation function. So please find your project fragmentation function by executing this portion. For my example, yeah, I saw big suppression of high PT particles inside the jet and enhancement of mid and low PT particles. So it's quite different from uh, the result with higher statistics, but yeah, but it, it is okay. But here even we can see the uh, RAF tendency, yeah. I don't know yours is similar to mine, but it's not a problem because uh, we have very small uh, statistics, but, but still we, I hope you can see uh, medium effect. Please find your modification of jet fragmentation function, hopefully you will find low Z enhancement. <laughs> Cause interaction with the medium constituents, uh, jet particle soften somewhat so, that is why we have low Z enhancement usually. So if you see, if you take the ratio between fragmentation functions for PP and Lele, please let us know. Okay, let's continue. Mm -hmm. So I hope you will you you learn something with this. So okay. So, so then maybe, the uh, yes, okay. Maybe I can can. Uh, so there was a question in the in the Slack mm -hmm. channel, which I think it's quite interesting. Uh, <clears throat> and the question from Omar was: Do you see similar results when studying the jet fragmentation function of identified particles? Uh, so can we do this? If not, what needs to be done? I think that's... Uh... Uh, I, yeah, I think it's very interesting uh, study. So I haven't tried it yet. So uh, if you want to try, 
uh, actually you can, so actually even with this study, you can do similar things. So you can add constraint on uh, PID. So you can put uh, lines uh, with which you can, uh, you can get only the particle you want. So then uh, you can do the, uh, you can, you can do the uh, analysis for identified particles, jet fragmentation function. So yeah, I think that is a good study. So uh, I, I think it, yeah, it, it's a, it's a very good homework. Yeah. And I, I never tried, yeah. But I mean, maybe just to follow up there, there isn't any, any mm -hmm. uh, particular physics included which would uh, address uh, uh, differences because of the uh, mm -hmm. hard right? So it really, I mean, that's certainly something if, this is what people are interested. That's certainly an mm. opportunity to include ah. uh, either in the jet energy loss or in modification of the hadronization, right? So, mm -hmm. uh, okay. So, for example, so uh, so we have uh, scattering with the medium, and then some medium constituents are added to jet shower. So uh, if we have uh, interaction, so if we have medium effect and with such scattering, so we may have a chance to pick up a uh, strange particle and uh, anti-strange particle. So we may have, uh, we may have a strange enhancement in jet fragmentation function. And also we may have more variants because uh, uh, it's not it's not true uh, for this simulation. Yeah, we, we may have, for example, strange. Uh, we have more strange headlines. Uh, so I think it's a very interesting study because uh, yeah, we can see whether whether jet pick up some particle from medium or not. So for, for example, yeah. And also, uh, we, so here we we did not use hybrid hadronization, but if you turn on hybrid hadronization, you may have more chance to get uh, baryons compared to the PP case uh, because uh, they pick up some uh, patterns from the medium and then they can uh, they can co uh, combine them and ha have more chances to get uh, variants in the little case. I think that is a very good uh, study. So yeah. Any other question? Okay, so let me go next. So next is the last jet observable we are calculate uh, we, we, we calculate today. So uh, the last one is uh, jet shape. So uh, definition of jet shape itself is a bit complicated, but uh, the idea itself is not very difficult. So here I draw a uh, uh, a pattern of jet. So uh, this uh, thick arrow corresponds to the uh, jet direction. So, and then let's consider the region where, uh, where you have a radial distance from jet direction with delta R. And then in that, so we would like to consider this. Uh, so let's, for example, uh, if we consider uh, this yellow region and then 
uh, first we calculate how much PT of charged particle are captured in this ring. And by doing this, actually we can calculate, uh, we can calculate radial distribution of uh, charged particles PT as, yeah. So we can calculate charged particle PT as a function of uh, radial uh, di uh, distance from the jet direction. So, and then you can see uh, angular distribution of the uh, PT inside of the jet. So here uh, I'm putting an example of jet, uh, jet shape calculated from uh, realistic uh, jetscape simulation. So, uh, so lead case is uh, shown with lead uh, solid line and PP case is uh, shown by uh, dashed uh, blue line. And uh, the bottom figure show the ratio between these two. So lead divided by PP. So, uh, so we can see collimation in the belly uh, collimation at small angle region, and we can see enhancement at large angle region. But actually, uh, it's not enough to explain the experimental data. So we need to have more mechanism to uh, to get a uh, get to get results comparable with the data. But anyway, so we can study the uh, the angular distribution of PT inside the jet with this jet shape function. Okay, so here, this is the code to get uh, jet shape. So please uh, execute this portion and then find your own jet shape in this way. So please do it and then let me know. And once you have done, so the next code is uh, to take ratio between PP and Lelet. So please execute the second one and find the jet shape modification if you have done uh, the jet shape calculation. So please uh, let me know if you finish everything in this uh, Jupyter notebook study. You are lucky. You can see you may you may you can see collimation and broadening. But uh, in my case, uh, yeah, it rather indicates that the jet shape uh, is not modified due to the. I don't see any medium uh, modification effect in uh, jet shape for for the case with. Uh, the, the result generated by Jetscape for this session. <laughs> if you increase the statistics, you uh, you will find more clear modification structures. So hopefully, something like this. But this time, yeah, I didn't find this modification. This is bad statistics. I 
and also for just shape yeah it may be a good study if you apply PID so if you can find some specific particle can be found only at large angle region yeah it, it can indicate something yeah. so let's go on I think this was a fairly simple plot to make so people are who are working on it probably finished so let's continue mm. Oh, okay. Uh, so actually, uh, I've, uh, I've, I've done everything for uh, the first uh, part of today's session. So I think we should uh, take a break here. Okay, thanks, uh, Yasuki. Mm -hmm. uh, unless, are there any questions? Let's uh, pause a moment, see if there are any questions. Please raise your hand. Nope. Well, let's take a, uh, by mm -hmm. my uh, computer clock, it's 19 minutes past the hour. Let's go to the full half hour. So an 11 minute break and see you back here at uh, 1030 Eastern time. Okay. I will stop mm -hmm. the recording now, Yi, and uh, you do what you do. And then I'll start again uh, when we re begin. Okay. Stop.